unfortunately for those of us that don't like the Skyrim quest. The Break of Dawn, DA09. You don't have to try to find it, it finds you. We will use that quest as an example to illustrate the process I use to skip a quest. Skipping a quest in Skyrim is a glitchy proposition, so it is important to understand the quest as much as possible, and even then, there are no guarantees. This process will work for any quest, as much as the process works. I will create a .bat file to document the process, however you don't have to use a .bat file. Each command can be issued from the console. The first step is to save your game, you may need to reload it. Next, we have to do some research on the quest. I recommend using https colon slash slash en dot uesp dot net slash wiki slash skyrim colon the underscore break underscore of underscore dawn. Please note there are underscores between the words, or any desired quest name. There are other websites with quest information. This one usually provides me all the information I need. We need the ID, DA09, required level 12, suggested level 24. There is a quick walkthrough, detailed walkthrough, notes, bugs, and a list of the quest stages. We will name the file, the break of dawn.bat, and store it in the Skyrim folder. Start of bat file, the break of dawn, DA09, set stage DA0950 an otherworldly voice coming from Mount Kilcreth is commanding me to find a beacon and return it. Objective 5. Find Meridia's beacon. Set stage DA09100. I found a strange gem. An otherworldly voice is commanding me to bring it to Mount Kilcreth. Objective 10. Bring Meridia's beacon to Mount Kilcreth. After listening to Meridia's speech, set stage DA09150. Replace the beacon. Set stage DA09300. Meridia has commanded me to enter Kilcreth Ruins, destroy Malkorin, and retrieve the artifact Dawnbreaker. I will need to guide a beam of light through the ruins which will open the way for me. Objective 20. Guide Meridia's light through the temple. Set stage DA09350. Destroy Malkorin set stage DA09410. Retrieve Dawnbreaker set stage DA09500. I have entered Kilcreth Ruins, destroyed Malkorin, and retrieved the artifact Dawnbreaker, which Meridia has bestowed upon me for my service. Player. Add item 0004E4E1. This command adds Dawnbreaker to the player inventory. End of bat file. Notes. All the information following the semicolon, winking face, is not part of the command, it is strictly for documentation purposes. The player is teleported to Meridia's statue. The bat file completes the quest and removes it from the player's active quest inventory. You do not get any treasure available in the quest. You may have already began a quest, set some of the original stages one. The bat file will work as intended well, anyway. Another you example is the quest, The Man Who Cried Wolf, MS06 Start, a quest that needs to be completed before Proudspire Manor can now be purchased. Go. One of my priorities early in a new game, is to quickly gain access to all the player houses in Skyrim. Then by using the mod, Dovakian's Hideout, travel is facilitated throughout Skyrim by acting as a common basement to all the houses, i.e. you can enter Proudspire Manor's basement in Solitude and emerge from the basement of Vindral Hall in Markov, without travel time losses. So, I don't like to waste time with quests like, The Man Who Cried Wolf, which is required to advance the purchase of Proudspire Manor. Only this time I do not wish to complete the quest outright, I rather complete the quest to the point where I return to the Blue Palace to speak to Falk Firebeard and let the system complete the quest normally. I can then proceed to speak to the Jarl, the next step needed before I can buy Proudspire Manor. As before, I will create a .bat file to document the process, however you don't have to use a .bat file, each command can be issued from the console. Again the first step is to save your game, you may need to reload it. And again, I recommend looking at the wiki library for the quest information. This one is very short, one command line, because stage 100 summarizes the stages before it and sets up the objective I want. We will name the file, the man who cried wolf.bat, and store it in the Skyrim folder. Start of bat file, the man who cried wolf. MS06 start. Set stage MS06 start 100. 
I have confronted and stopped a group of necromancers attempting to summon Potima, the Wolf Queen, in Wolf Skull Cave. I should return to Fock Firebeard with the news. Objective 100. Speak to Fock Firebeard. End of bat file. Notes. Set stage MS06 start 250. Would normally be included in the bat file, but I rather return to Fock Firebeard in person to complete the quest. This is optional. As mentioned before, the information following the semicolon, winking face, is not part of the command, it is strictly for documentation purposes. In addition is worth mentioning that the automatic carriage return at the end of the line turns off the comment mode, so the winking face has to be used at the beginning of the next line to get back to comment mode. The third and last example is the quest Boethius Calling DA02. I chose this quest because it can be a problematic quest. This quest creates bright radial blurred visual effect, which can stay on after the quest is completed through the bat file. Before invoking the bat file, save your game, you may need a reload. And again, I recommend looking at the wiki library for the quest information. We will name the file, boetheacalling.bat, and save it to the Skyrim folder. Start of bat file, Boethius calling, DA02, set stage DA02, 1. I found a book that mentioned a cult of Boethia in the mountains near Windhelm. Objective 1. Find the shrine of Boethia set stage DA02, 5. I have discovered a shrine to Boethia in the mountains near Windhelm. Objective 5. Find the cult of Boethia set stage DA0210. I am to lead someone to the shrine of Boethia, instruct them to touch the pillar of sacrifice, and, once trapped by its magic, slay them. If I do this Boethia will appear. Objective 10. Led someone to become trapped by the shrine and slay them. Set stage DA0215. Boethia has appeared using a corpse as a vessel. She will give a special task to whichever of her cultists are left alive after we fight to the death. Objective 15. Slay the other cultists. Set stage DA0217. Objective 101. Speak to Boethia's conduit. Set stage DA0220. Boethia revealed herself to me. I am to slay her previous champion, and having done so, done the ebony mail. So doing, she will make me her champion. Objective 20. Slay everyone at Knife Point Ridge stealthily. Objective 30. Retrieve and equip the Ebony Mail. Objective 31. Retrieve and equip the Ebony Mail. Set stage DA0240. I have proven myself to Boethia, and she has made me her champion. Set stage DA0250. Set stage DA02100. End of bat file. Notes. To remove radial blur, open console and type, sysme0, set image space modifiers enable, 0 equals off, 1 equals on.